Adobe InDesign 2025 is here and with it comes a massive digital publishing update. In this tutorial, I'll go over how to use the brand new export HTML5 package option to quickly and seamlessly export pages or spreads to HTML5 format type. We'll also look at different ways of exporting text when packaging the HTML5 assets for a production. Let's jump in and start creating. On my screen, I have three pages for this slide deck presentation. And before I show you how to export the HTML5 package, let's go over some of the animation and interactivity inside of this document. I've opened the EPUB interactivity preview window and I'm just going to press play here. And you'll see that I have a cover page with the animated title as well as the slow grow background image. If I make my way to the second page in the document, you'll see a title animation appear on page load as well as an interactive menu. I can click these buttons below to trigger the profile images and the bios on the right hand side. You can see them changing on each click. And then if I go to the last page, I also have the animated title and then some charts that come in from the right side. So if I close this now, we can export the HTML5 package. To do that, make your way up to File and Publish Online. Now that'll bring up the Publish Your Document Online window, which you're probably familiar with. The first step is giving the project a title. So I'll call this Silvergate Asset Management. You can add a description, but that's optional in this case. You could choose pages or a range of pages. We'll choose all the pages to export. You can choose export as single pages or spreads. I'll keep this as single pages. And you'll notice down below in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a new button here to export HTML5 package. Go ahead and click that. That will bring up a separate window to control how you want to export your text in the project. Now, I like to choose HTML text tags because that allows you to copy the fonts inside of the project. However, if you have text effects applied and they don't carry over when you export the HTML5, try exporting as HTML SVG tags to resolve that issue. In this case, I'll keep it at HTML text tags and click export. A message will appear prompting you about having necessary rights to copy and distribute fonts in the document. Go ahead and click OK to accept and proceed. As a last step, target the folder where you want the packaged assets to be saved. I've set up a folder called Final Export and I'll export the HTML5 package here. Then click Choose. And you'll see that exports all the HTML5 assets. So I have all the fonts that I've used in the document. I have an indexed HTML. And if I drop down the publication web resources folder, you'll see I have the CSS, HTML, and that's also broken into each page in the document, as well as images, script, and thumbnails for each of the pages. Let's take a look at the index first. If I double click and open it, you could see that I have the same document and I can just flip through each page and all the animation and the interactivity carries over with it. And I can flip over to the last page. You see I have my animated title as well as those charts that fly in from the right. Now I'm currently viewing this locally on my computer. Let's upload the HTML to a code editor and get a live preview. I'm using brackets, but you can use any code editor of your choice. I'm going to go to get started and open the folder that we just exported from InDesign. Here it is here, Silvergate Asset Management. Go ahead and open that and that will upload that folder to brackets. And you can see it on the left hand side here that the folder was uploaded and I can expand the publication web resources folder and then expand HTML. I can click on each one of these and if I go up to file and choose live preview, that will give me a live preview of the page I selected. And this is the cool part. If I go back to brackets and I'm just going to shrink this window down a bit here, here's all the HTML that goes with this specific page. I can click on publication two and that would automatically take me to the second page in the document. And then I can click the first cover page 
and there's the first cover page and you can see that all the HTML code is included on the right hand side here. So if you don't have experience with coding or development, you can easily hand off these files to a developer who could assist you in implementing this to your own website. This is a huge step in InDesign and a great way of taking your InDesign documents live to your own website. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to export Adobe InDesign documents to HTML5 format type. If you found it helpful, leave a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest content. For more digital publishing videos using InDesign, check out the playlist above. Until next time, take care and keep creating. Thank you.